Um, let me, okay. Hello, everyone. Sorry, I was still working out if um, you could see everything in the frame. Because, you know, it's just getting there. Here we are. Just loading Facebook because I was really organized. Hello. Um, oh, when am I there? Ah, it's coming up as my mum and who's done the video. Ah, it's me. It's Naomi. Um, well, there's no good in saying it's me. Because I have learnt that I do sound like my mum on phone calls and other stuff. I get confused quite frequently um, as my mum on a regular basis on phones and videos and everything else. Although it is my desk. So if mum was creating at my desk, it would have to be like something has gone terribly wrong. Okay, right, there we go. Oh, hello, Pam. Hello, Karen. And Diane G. And Diane D. And lots of other people. Hello, hello, hello. Oh, and Debbie H. Um, yes, hello. And Cash. Right, let's get started, shall we? So, um, in the Zoom we had a couple of weeks back, you guys asked to see mixed media on actual projects like cards and scrapbooking pages so we're gonna do a card tonight but we're gonna do some mixed media and then we're gonna put it on a card so that it like you know straddles the two types type thing so let's get started shall we um just a heads up we are using a new stencil and stamp tonight with a bunch of other things um so we've got mandala 2 which i drew sometime in the last week you know what the last three weeks kind of a blur i don't actually remember what i've done in them i just know that i drew this at some point it's being made into a stencil oh, hello man and then we have our leafy stamp see we're using that and we're going to use some of our stuff out of our scrap box because it's scrap box week which means we can go and read this in our scrap box. Yay! So I've got a few bits and pieces. I have an untouched piece of this, which I thought was really odd. So we're going to use that. Um, and I've got a circle template and all the rest of it. But let's cut our card base. And then we're going to mix and wrap the other side that we don't use. It's kind of paper. Right. Oh, hello, Shell. Right, so let's go. So our card base today, or the base that we're going to be working on, is going to be, and we could either do an easel or a square, positives to a square, It'll be a square. Mm, maybe like... Let's do something funky and let's do a four by four front of a card. So let's go with, actually that's not going to work. Yeah, let's just do a standard six by six front. So that's going to be six by 12 inches. And I'm going to fold that in half. Ah, hold up. Yep, yeah, one minute. That was paint. Okay, there's no paint on this side. This is the side we're using. Is that card base? Because the other one had paint on it. Yeah, let's do a square. And there we are. There's our base. Let's put that off to one side so it doesn't get any paint on it. Woo! Right, so... The main thing that I think about when I do things like, for example, I'll show you something I do over the weekend that's like mixed media on a page. So this is a mixed media page. <coughs> Sorry. Um, 
my allergies have been playing up today it's the dust anyway so basically as you can see this is quite a lot of stuff is on this page um but the main thing is is that you break it up into elements so then it doesn't get too chaotic when you make it um which i think is what's daunting when you do mixed media on standard projects like your pages and your cards and even on some art journaling pages is that we forget to break it up into elements and it kind of gets a little bit too overwhelming so we're gonna go in and we're gonna do we're gonna break it up into every single element that we need oh thanks Pam. yeah just had a few moments over like the last few days i was like oh my gosh i just wish for things to stop and it, my nose is gonna start leaking in a minute and it hasn't leaked since like 10 a.m this morning doing it just for you guys so I kind of know what I'm gonna do let me try and explain this in English it's not gonna end well just to have spring in the air oh I hope so I hope so I love spring apart from I hate people but yeah so basically what I'm gonna try and do so this is the front of our lovely card I don't know if you can see that no that's too far away one minute. Here's a notepad I prepared earlier. So this is like the front of our card. So I kind of want our mandala stencil here in the smack bang center. So mandala stencil. Because I think, and I'm not too worried about my white paint drying out. It's cold ish so like you know we've got the mandala in the stencil center and i've got a three and a half inch thing so if we have a look at how much that cuts off so it's not too bad and what we can actually do is is we can go and we can cut these bits out of some other things so we can raise them up in there okay and then after that, we're going to have some, I think, leaves. Because we're going to try and make like a reefy thing. Would you believe I only drew these leaves last night and I still can't draw them now. Woo! Oh, there we go. Leaf drawing back in action. So we're going to have some leaves coming around. And this here, I'm going to make it opaque with white paint, but we're going to do it in such a way that we only get the leaves being opaque and we have the least amount of wastage with this. And of course, we're going to have some gauze because I think gauze is necessary. Now, what else have we got to work with? I thought we could have like an and symbol here because it's important that we make little, like, you know, clusters maybe a suitcase up here I know right so I go on real mismatch today all right and then well I've got some hearts so I figured that this here could actually be um filled in with the same vellum and then oh hello Raquel and then what we can do is we can use this piece that we're going to mix media it's going to be the this piece here is going to be the mixed media pattern or the pattern paper that you're going to make yourself so yep Can't you tell my drawing skills are amazing? So this is kind of like the idea that I have in my head, um, which I came up with in the car when I saw a green light. Um, I know, right? Inspiration when it hits. Uh, so, anyone got a problem with this? Anyone want to add anything else? We can add things as we go. This is very simple plan. This is a 
Well, it doesn't look simple when I draw it, but it looks simple in the head. Anyway, so let's just stick this here because this is what we're aiming for, but neater, hopefully. If it isn't neater, it won't be a surprise. Right, so let's get going. Where did we put the leafy stamp? There we are. So let's start with the leaf stamp because we're going to be putting white paint on the vellum here so it becomes opaque. And we want it to dry the most so then we can fussy cut out oh, fussy cut out the leaves. It's They're, they're simple shapes. It's nearly an oval, so we're all good. Um... So yeah, so what we want to do is we're going to flip over our vellum so then it's on the other side. We've got him. We're not going to pout this out because we've got no other paint currently anywhere on our desk, which is why we're doing this first. Well, that's okay, Karis. Hello. And then... Hold up. There we go. can see the plan. Plan. Right, here we go. And then we're just going to come and rub this on the back. Oop. I'm wearing good jeans tonight. Not a smart plan. Nope. Right, and there we are. So one leaf and to show you. So you see how that, that bit is purely opaque? But it's only going to be that bit there. And what we're going to do is, is we're actually going to leave it to dry in the big sheet. This will stop it from doing a lot of wrink a lot of its wrinkling. Like it'll still wrinkle a little bit, but it won't completely curl in on itself and not be usable at all. So by leaving it to dry as a big piece, we've got the best chance of it being usable and we want quite a few of these but in saying that I do want pattern bits I don't want to like go for this bit here where there's nothing because I feel like that would just be a waste of our time well not a waste of our time just like I don't fussy cut things for no reason okay I'll be purely honest with you if I fussy cut there is a reason And then Um, where do you reckon of these are we going to need? Like, I could say we're going to need 20 of them, okay? But realistically, I don't think I'd be bothered to cut out 20 of them. Probably get to the fifth one and go, ooh, that'll do. But I do think we need odd numbers. So let's try and aim to stamp out 11. Because we might have an oopsie when we cut one, that's all. So, you know, we want... We want options. And also, if we do more now, that's okay, because these are going to take some time to dry, because it's currently not the best weather for drying paint on vellum. Would you believe that vellum and paint dry better in hotter months? So we're just coming in. Let's see if we need extras, that will be a like it won't be a big problem, we'll just have to pull out the heat tool and run the gauntlet of having really curly leaves. So I do want to avoid using the heat tool.
Okay. I'll flip it over so then we can have a look at what we're going to get with our leaves. And then we'll get on to the next bit. Which I think will be the fun bit. Okay. Okay. There you go. I was just cleaning up the stamps. So I was getting rid of the excess on the sides there. Send us a bowl driver. It's a bit of a problem when the foam stamps that we sell don't that we make don't absorb any of the paint. Like they're great for that. Uh, but yeah. Just gotta remember to clean the side of that. And then there we go. So that's all the patterns we're gonna get with our lovely piece of vellum. So we're gonna put that to one side. Hello Diane. Oh. So let's put that to one side. So that's like element one started. Next bit, where did that come from? Oh that's like okay. Next bit, let's get on to this one here. So I do think we will need a few of these just to link what we're going to do in the center to here. So let's grab out some paints. What colors are we thinking of? Remembering that we might have to do a bit of a, oh, a bit of a peachy mustardy teal one because we've got that on the rice, on the vellum. But you know, we've used different colors to our vellums before. So like we can use 50 colors if we want. I've got a few colours. Uh, I've got a, quite a few stencils we can use tonight. So the more colours we choose, maybe the better. Let's see if I've got any yellows. I do like a good yellow or an orange. Um, I do think we're going to need that wine. And where's the red pen? The red pen. The one, the only red pen pen. It's somewhere in here, I believe. Maybe. Maybe not. Mm, that's okay. We can move at it. Okay. Let's see. Like we could just borrow mom's colors. And yellow. Purple. Oh my gosh, purple hello, honey Robin. Really? Purple, 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 you reckon? Oh, and hello to everyone. Hello to everyone over on YouTube. Um, let's see. Just gonna remove some of the stuff that I shoved in here randomly oh, we can, ah I found the red tape pen right. might need the white that's a watercolor set this would be helpful if I kept it clean hey a lot more of a funner process we're going to clean this We definitely need a yellow, but I just don't seem to have one. I think I ran out of yellow. Oh, uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure I actually did run out of yellow. So let me just let me go and see what yellow's mum's got. Are we looking for more of a mustard or do we want a bright one? So I was really worried that we were going to have to use this one. Um, I like rummaging. Yeah, I know, so do I. But sometimes it's just a bit of a pain. But I think this colour here might work really well. I reckon him. Because I don't know about him. Like, you know what? 
put both down. Let's see what we use. And we're going to need a paint palette because we don't want the paint everywhere tonight. I know. It's a different thing, isn't it? All right, let's go out our messy mat. Yeah, we're using this bit of the messy mat. Actually, we could cover the important stuff, the messy mat. Look at that. Oh. Let's put the suitcases under there as well. Stuff we don't want paint on, it's underneath the messy mat. So when I forget, please let me know. Right, so let's start, shall we? Let's put our pile of stencils over on the iPad. Okay, and then let's get started on this one here. Let's see if we're going to need this lavender left. Oh my gosh, we have some of this lavender left. I am subtly, I am like surprised. So we got some of the lavender. We've gone for a very, I think, kind of a pastel type color tone. So I've got some purple pen and then I reckon some of this dark green to match our vellum. If not, we'll be using the olive color. I did use a lot of greens back in February for a painting I did. Oh, it's a bit deeper. Okay, and then let's get some breeze. So because we're doing a few more elements, it also means that we can add a few more colours. We don't have to stick to our usual three rule like we do in the art journal. And saying this, you could do this in your art journal. It'd be quite easy. I might do a version of it in my art journal um, in the, over the weekend so then you guys can see would look like converted into an art journal page. If you want so that's the pastel marigold. We're gonna put that over that side because that's mum's colour. Some desert. I don't think we will be needing this one. I just I don't think we will. Some white paint. Well, hello Karen J. Some white paint. Some rain. It's really color. Okay, and let's go with a teal. Now we've got nearly a landslide over that side. Put the paint pens there. We've got a few different stencils that I've pulled out of my scrap box. So them, most of them are ours that uh, Mum and I have designed. Uh, however, I do have a few of some other brands. Like I've got this one here. And I did consider maybe using some of these daisies. We'll see how we go. We might actually put that one. Yeah, let's put this one here down first, shall we? Let's see how this goes. So we've got that one down. Oh, before we do this. One minute. We're going to do our center of our card because this needs to dry. Let's just pull up stumps a minute. Center this on our card. I am eyeballing, eyeballing it. So that's who I am. Hey, um, what's going on in our bundle? Oh, are you using that stencil? I like that one. I wanted to be the first one to use it. I'm about to christen it, so. Oh, well, there you go. Um, um, so you're going to use Mandala 2. And what else we got? Uh, I got the leaf stamp. That's the new stuff. 
So that's all I'm putting up of all those goodies we've designed. Yes, because yes. everything else is being saved. <laughs> Saving the other stuff. You like the way? You'll have to haunt the online store. <laughs> Medal 2 and a leap stamp. There we go. Yeah. Won't add the other things? No. No. Right, let's see. I think teal center. Just because it's a strong, vibrant colour. Ah! We're all good. Let me realign it. That happens on the big jobs. I'm going to kind of just a bit of breeze on the edge and blend it in. Get ourselves a bit of gradient. I am going to move those watercolors on the frames so that you can hear moving every movement because it's just a little bit freaky how I've got them sitting right above where I'm working. Not a smart move. Nope, 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 nope. Oh, nearly caused the landslide, but oh, we're all good. Okay. That's because we moved the centre of it, but we'll cover that bit up. I do like, though, even with that bit smudged, I think that's really nice. We could just stick a word on that and be done. Anyway, we'll fix that. That's because it moved on me. Well, I accidentally lifted my hand, and I haven't brought myself a water tub. I need a water tub! Yeah. Desperately. Right, and then let's come on over this way. I've got one there. Just I need a brief interlude. Brief interlude. Oh, yeah. And let's come and do our daisies with our blending brush. Circle motion like always. It is very pretty. It's because I didn't have my hand held down. I'm very annoyed at that, but I will. It will be fixed. Right. Thanks, Dad. So we're just coming in and we're given our piece of white. Fair bit of paint on it. Okay, and then Yeah, and then that one. And then Where's our stencil from tonight? We come in. So we've got our first layer on there. So we're just going to continue to come in. And blending brush on. Just a few stencils. It doesn't matter if they are not perfect. They do not have to be perfect. And look. Look at that. Oh, mate, this is just
There we go. So I think we're nearly done with the breeze color. This is okay. Then we'll put that stencil to one side. The idea of this is that we don't go back. So once we've used the stencil, we don't go back to it. We just keep layering and layering and layering. We're not going to go back to a stencil we've already used. And then we do need just a little bit more of a bulky pattern to kind of calm down the craziness that we have here. It's just a bit crazy. So we're just going to grab our chevrons. And our green. And then we'll do our chevrons over here. Then let's see, maybe we we'll do our chevrons over here. So I'm also working from kind of like our darker tone colours first. And then I'm going to add our light colours in. I know that seems a bit odd, but I, I think it's just a good way to break the blindingness of the white. Plus, where we are under, like, we have a lights just here to make it easier for you guys to see. Make it easier for me to see as well because um, the rig does create some shadows. So um, it's just kind of important that like, I don't blind you by keeping the card stop super bright. That's possible. Oh, that's okay. Hello, Kel. So that's our next layer. So we've got some green on there now. Uh, what colour do you reckon we should go for next? Oh, no, uh, this is paint, Joanne. So we're using paints tonight. So this is all just paint with a blending brush, and we haven't switched, we haven't switched blending brushes at all. So we've just gone with the same blending brush, and we've done three colours so far. And we're going to come in and do another colour in a minute. So I think the next one we're going to go for is the butterflies, maybe. Uh, actually, no, let's go with the mandala next. Yeah, mandala. And what colour do you think we should do? We've got this lavender, which has split because we haven't used that paint for a really long time. So... By split, I mean what happens is, is the pigment splits from the actual acrylic substance. So you've got to mix it um, to re-thicken it. Uh, this only happens if you don't touch your acrylic paints for over a, a year or so. Hello, Diane B. So, yeah, it just depends. If you let acrylic paint sit for a really long time and haven't used it in the bottle um, and then don't shake it beforehand, that's what happens. It's split, but that just it also tells you that it's kind of a good acrylic because it means that it was mixed at the right um at the right step in the process of making the paint which is kind of good to know it's also a good gesso split all good gessos um split which is why you got to remix them if you don't use them often uh, we use it i use mine probably every three days though so i don't have to remix mine um all right let's see so we want our next color i feel like we should break the ice on this wine type color this burgundy slash red um because I, I think it might just add what we need to it. Let's see. It is going to mix with the green on the paintbrush already, but that's okay. Because we've got most of that off already, so it's not going to mix too much. And I'll still say its own colour. By using the same burning brush and the colours mixing together, it does mean that we are able... To blend them into each other just a little bit more easily and just remembering those circle emotions. Okay, so we've got one mandala there. And yep, it's good to turn it in its different ways. Let's come in and do another one maybe here. And 
And then look at that. What? Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> okay, and then Can let's see. Come in with our butterflies. And I do want these to be opaque, so we're just going to grab a bit of that white on one side and a bit of the mustard on the other side, slash pastel marigold. And what this is going to guarantee us is that it's going to be white, hopefully. Well, not white, but it's going to be kind of a little bit more opaque than what it would be. Stay its own colour. Because I'll show you what it's like without it. Mm, it's not too bad. So there's the butterflies. This is a background piece, remember, as well. So it doesn't matter if it becomes absolute mud. Does not matter. Right. And then... Let's add some of this desert colour in. And then what can we do? Let's place our happiness. Okay. So I would like to change a little bit of colour and then mix up our lavender and just come in. We're just going to come and scrape that on just a little bit in a few places. Uh, and we're going to do the same thing with this pastel marigold because I do, I do like this colour. I will fully admit to that. This colour is lovely. I do like a good yellow, like I said. And this can be up to your preference too. You can choose any colour you want when you do stuff like this. It's not have to be the exact same. So it is good to have a contrast though. So we and we chose these purely based off the rice paper, the not the rice paper, the vellum piece that we've done our leaves on. That's what we've chosen these off. And then let's come in now that that's soaked for a bit, because we did have a fair bit of paint on it. 
we are cleaning it at our desk so we're just rubbing it in on the side of our water tub as you can see the water tub was pretty murky we come in and we get it along the ridge try and move as much as that paint as possible and this is because we are teaching so you can do this at the desk if you're afraid that you're going to lose your train of thought however it is best to just get up and go and clean up straight away right there we go and then to make sure it doesn't dry out on us over class wet it and sit it that way oh so this here this is just a piece of Grange cardstock that we've used and we cut it in half so one half is our card base which is a six by six piece we've already so at the beginning before we did this we blending brushed on our mandala pattern I did stuff the middle up but we're going to fix that I don't think you can really tell though when you zoom out it looks quite nice and then um we did this bit here so we're gonna come in oh that's all good we're gonna come in now and we're gonna do some stamping 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 oh i think some feathers maybe yeah let's let's see how these go So we're just going to put some teal paint on the back of this. This would be great to have a stamp block. But right now, we're just going to use a creative ruler. Because you've got to think on your feet. But you don't have all the gizmo and gadgets. Okay, as you can see... Oh, that looks quite nice, but let's see what it looks like if we put white on it. Oh, the white is very liquidy because we've got water on it. Oh, this might not work. But I'm okay with that. Another go, and then we're just going to remove that one. Remove that. And then just to know what's me, let's come in with our dry paint brush here and do This should just become my signature, by the way. I'm more reliable at doing these on every one of my paintings than when I am at actually doing my signature. Because I'm pretty sure I've sold two paintings now without signatures on them. Yeah. Alright. Okay. I'm nuts. Right. And there we go. I think that there's done. So remember, we are cutting this down to a very small piece. We're cutting it down. So we're, we're going to choose a spot to cut it, obviously. And then 
let's just move our paint palette we go so we just moved our paint palette over because we're probably going to use them again but for now we're just gonna stick to some of these bits oh i found a paintbrush found a paintbrush i was missing that i love Ooh. okay so as you can see that's nearly dry and even though it's kind of like mid cold level here like it's not the coldest it's ever been it's not the warmest it's ever been it could be warmer um but it's mid cold um it's already nearly dry because we use blending brushes and it kept the paint nice and thin for us i'm naturally very heavy-handed so for the paint to already be nearly dry is quite good for me because normally i would have to wait a considerable amount of time for this so I'm just trying to see what would look best. Where did we put the ruler? Yeah. So we want to cut it because we've got a six by we got a, yeah. So we got a six by six square. So we've got six inches of room. I'm just trying to decide. Remembering that the middle is gonna be cut out, so the edges is what we're gonna see. I definitely think, yeah. I definitely think if we go from that edge there. So let's just come in and cut the six inch mark. Go, so that piece is spare for us. This is ours, and then we're going to come in further, cut it down to five and a three quarters. By five and three quarters. Now, before we even cut the middle, actually, we'll do that bit. We'll, we'll add some more paint after we cut the middle out. Now that we can see what we're looking at. Oh, that looks good, Darla. Thank you. And then, so let's come in with our stencil template and flip it over the other side. And where's our centering ruler? As much as I wish to eyeball this, I probably shouldn't. Anyone get that feeling? Right, here we go. So, five and three quarter divided by half equals two and a half. And then no, 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 no. So and you're finding halfway. Yeah. So you line up like this and you get the same point on both sides. Oh, this is how centering really works. That's yeah. smart. Yeah. Oh, amazing stories. Mm, yeah. But you've got to find halfway along the sides first so you're lining up straight. Okay. Hey, Mom, here's what I've got on. Vix. Got Vix on, have you? And it says, it's like, right here, you got it off. Oh, God. Probably my little sister has the obsession with the Vix now. So I just confused myself a lot there. This is the middle. Right. This is what we did on the back. Actually, it's probably best if we go a little bit off center. Just so then uh, what on earth are we doing? It also means that if we're not exactly down the centre, it doesn't quite matter. 
Right. And if we stuff this up, we've got another half we can use. I know, I'm reading through the video. I forgot to grab my mum's craft knife. Oh dear lord. Okay, one minute. Give me a second. Mum's craft knife. Down joke. That was a lucky guess. I don't own my own craft knife anymore. I broke mine by accident. Don't ask. I was experimenting. Things didn't go exactly to plan. Bippity boppity boo. Here we are. Okay. We need a mat. No. We'll be good. We're going to cut through several layers of our white. Not white. Um. A white but not white piece that we have underneath everything to protect the grass. Okay. Just going around and we're doing a bit at a time. Excellent bit of line now. So I went around first. With a pencil. And then I went around with a craft knife with the template on. And now I go around. Following remember it's going to be a little bit harder because we do have paint inside. This is why we also avoided using things like modeling paste in our stencils and sponges and we went with blending brush because it was nice and thin so we didn't have too many extra layers to cut through that's that might have been a lot harder if you would believe and then so, oh ta-da look at him okay so now just piling up the stuff I'm borrowing from mom over that side. Let's grab these ones. Yeah, let's put a bit of gauze down and in here. Let's grab. Our leaves and our leaves are now dry so we can come and cut them out
Okay. And then I'm just coming in. I'm gonna come in. Okay, like I said, after about five, which is now, I'm starting to feel like this was a bad idea cutting them. But they look cool, I think. I'll lift it up to show you. Second. So these are our, oh, I'm moving it now, our leaves. I do think they look kind of cool. And then, like, imagine that raised. And then if we come in, we're just going to do a little bit of work here. This one, grab two minutes, and then glue. Oh no, this one will be better. You can use normal glossy accents, but we're just going to stick this and symbol down to our vellum. And then, oh, I just rubbed my hands on my jeans. I'm wearing good jeans tonight. Bad idea. Bad, bad idea. I don't actually know how these. Oh, oops, that's the small one. So he goes up there. Well, that's also a small one. Spin him around and where's our white paint? White paint, here it is. Do we have any still on the mat? No, okay, we don't have any on the mat. Goes off to one side. That's wet, we need a dry brush. Actually, we're just going to use our finger. Making sure your fingers clean before you stick it in your gesso tub. And so it's some white paint. And then around behind it. Th 
There we go. I think I look quite good there now. Okay. So I'm just going to set that to one side while that dries. Let's grab our suitcases. out what we did there so we just did that because now what we can come and do we cut our layers apart because now we can grab some ghouls let's do this one here oh. one on top and we'll leave them out underneath and we need an ollie Going from building it, I'm going to lift it up in a second so you guys can see. Just need one more leaf, I think. I'm, I'm about to lift it, I promise. I wear an apron when I craft. Because I have a bad habit of wiping my hands on my clothes. Otherwise, yes. See, I just don't feel comfortable in an apron. I have tried to wear an apron. Um, yeah, no. Made me feel odd. It didn't look exactly right on me. Um, I don't know how to explain it. It was just a no go. Like a hundred percent a no go. So this is how our card looks so far. I do think we're gonna come in and we're gonna put white paint around this edge here, the inside edge of the circle, and put a bit more of the mustard slash pastel marigold around this edge just to like really form our borders I think between the two of this and it's going to be raised on chippy strips and this bit's going to be raised as well I reckon and then I do think we just need maybe one banner if not two and then what do you reckon about hearts 
We are going to start sticking this in a minute or else we will be here forever. I'm understanding you guys don't want to be here forever. And then, I get paint on my clothes. <laughs> oh, I saw this uh, video today uh, while I was doing some social media work for the shop. Because I do the videos for us. Um, and our, uh, someone had posted this video of how to tell you're, you're, you're like a true crafter or a true artist. Um, there was like a few things that went past and then the last one, which is like getting paley clothes, tipping something over, um, eating and like trying to rub the crubs off your work and um, uh, forgetting to pick the kids up from school and like quickly dashing off. And then um, the last one was where you've got your paintbrush and you've got your water tub sitting like here. And then you got your coffee or your drink sitting here. And yeah, instead of putting it in this one, you put it in that one. <laughs> I thought it was very relatable. I have done that before. And I didn't realise until after I drank the water. And yeah. So I just thought it was a very like relatable video. Oh, thank you, Raquel. So we're just going to come in and cut real quick around this one. So we're going to do a dodgy cut first. And then... Can I come and do a more detailed cut? And... Yeah, so this one here. And I do think that's it there. All right, let's get started on the second and the pen. So I'm going to grab the stuff because I don't keep tape on my desk because that would end badly. And I also don't keep chicken chips on my bed desk because that would also end badly. So just grabbing the essentials. Let's go. So, I'm just going to come and grab this one. Grab our paint back. Come in. And the mustard on the edge. Also, because we cut our circle not exactly in the center, it also means that where well, we kind of a little bit stuffed up the center of our mandala, we stenciled onto our card base. Doesn't matter. 
because it's not the vocal point. There you go. And then, um, let's flip this one over. Yep. We might actually not use tape. We're going to we're going to pull out the modelling paste. So we're going to stick our base bit up on chippy strips on the um, uh, us as a brand, Mum and I have gone over to using, well, as crafters, we've gone over to using chippy strips purely because they're a bit more violent than environmentally friendly uh, than what um, foam tape was. And we're just trying to be a little bit more environmentally friendly because obviously our business does create a fair bit of paper waste with the manufacturing, which we put into the garden beds, but still and we've got solar and the rest of it. But you know, it's important to do our part. I do. Um, Wish for my little sister and my little brother to the full wipe. So, yep. Every little bit counts, as they say. And we're just going to come in. Oops, so it's, yep, so it's this bit here that has the and symbol stuck in it and the leaves. So, we're just preparing. But when we stick it down, so then we can just slide our collage in underneath and not have to worry about trying to get a glue bottle in there and get the coordination level up and all the rest of it. We can just slide it in. Right, so I'm just going to come in, put it down like so, and see by the front ways, you could never tell we've got modeling paste underneath this card so we just cleaned up the overflow okay there we go and then what we'll do is, is we're going to grab first Need a skewer, our piece of gauze. I'm going to slide that one in and push that into the modeling paste. And then we're going to put a little bit of glue on the back of our hand symbol. We don't need too much because we've already got. The one we paste in there. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, stick that one in there. Kind of gluing them as a pre precaution. Um.
Yeah. And then... I know this wasn't a part of the plan, but we are just going to come with just a little bit of gauze in between this leaf and that end symbol. I'm using our skewer. Just going to come in and push it in. See? And that's step one done. The first cluster. And then this one here. So we've got. Remembering that we are going to have to probably come in and chop the edges off this one, this side, so keeping one side completely free. of the chippy strips is important. And then yep, I did the right side. So Okay, and then that one there. Just making sure it's going to sit on the right spot. Yep, it's a bit more over. Realistically, I probably should have cut the edges of these already. I would suggest that I'll be creating this at home. And we double layered. Yeah, chippy strips here. Just so then we get a bit more height over top. That one, and then we're going to come in and we're going to fully stick this one. Down on the base here, so we're just coming in. This one here is not going to be on any trippy strips. And stick that one down. And then let's come in and stick all our little bits on. Bit of course goes in here. I'm going to stick him in there first. Okay, and then. Oh my gosh, I'm buying one new bowl of glue tomorrow. Okay, let's come in and stick our leaves down now. Thank you. Let me lift it up to show you. So this is what we've kind of got so far. And we're just coming in. Sticking on our... Use that modeling paste to my advantage. And then just 
I have cut a few leaves up because I'm not cutting any more out. So I'm going to get what I need out of the leaves I've got. You know? And then... And there we go. And now let's grab our scissors. Okay, okay. And now what we want to do, let's grab our paint back. This modeling paste. That's okay. It's going to give us a bit of dimension. And then where is that dotty stencil we used? Dotty stencil. And our palette knife. Hmm. My good palette knife's gone somewhere. Okay. This palette knife it is. Just a little bit more. And there we are. And now, so I'll just show you. We've just added a few dots in there, and now what we're going to come and do just grab a watercolor. Yeah, let's come in. Let's put a 
a bit of a deeper blue. make some contrast Just gonna come in with some mustard along the suitcases. This is just like the final touches. Well, when it takes me an hour to create it, maybe not. Um, yeah, no. <laughs> Thanks. Well, not what you can teach in an hour. That's all I'm saying. And then I'm just adding some little red hearts. And then we have it. I think we're done. I don't actually think we need the acrylic hearts. But there you go. That is how you put mixed media onto a card. I hope you enjoyed tonight's class. I know it's a bit different for everyone. Um... I am taking suggestions for class ideas. Please write to me. Um, but yeah, so thank you all for coming. And we shall be back tomorrow night for Mum's Friday Night Live. Uh, you'll get me as a scribe and Mum's teaching and don't know what we're doing. Because, uh, yep, yeah, I'll pay a lot of attention to the planning meeting, as you can tell. That was on Monday. Uh, I did that. I was eating lunch. Um, but anyway, so thank you all for coming. And yeah, I shall see you all tomorrow night. Thanks. Bye. Oh, and the stencil and stamp are up on the online store, the new one, the leaf and the mandala one. So just a heads up on that one. But yeah, so thank you all for coming. Bye.